Welcome to the cooler, Mandy. What a great start, is it? Have we met before? No. Are you sure you seem very familiar? Do you live down Barrington Road? No. That's got me mixed up with someone else. That's my fault. Uh, my dad needs to talk to you. No, why? Uh, he didn't say, but um, apparently it's quite urgent. I will be two minutes. You left her on her own? It's so unlike Leo. She must be egging him on. Right. Well, we need to find them. Who is this girl, anyway? Well, I thought maybe I recognised her. Someone Christine excluded? No, I don't think so. Someone from your Havelock days? Maybe. Come on, Audrey, think. I don't know, but something is niggling at me. I could call an old colleague. Yeah, do it. I'll search the school. Do you think anyone saw us? I don't think so. I've never done this before. What? Lied to a teacher. Bunked off. You're joking, never. Tragic, I know. Right little geek, aren't you? I can't believe you smacked my brother. Hmm. He had it coming to him. Nobody speaks to my friends like that. Well, it's nice to have someone sticking up for me. You've done this before, then. What, smack somebody or bunked off? Both. Too many times. So, are you going to tell me then? What? What you're running away from. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> you do. That obvious, is it? Kind of. But you can talk to me, I'm not going to tell anyone. Just forget it. Are you in trouble? Do you have somewhere you can stay? But then what are you going to do? Join the circus. Who's that? Mandy? Is it your dad? Your stepdad? Is he the one you're getting away from? You were right. She was at her block. Her name is not Mandy McDonald, it's Mandy Ruskin. And it was the head butting which rang a bell with me. She was no model pupil. She and another girl were involved in an incident, a prank that went wrong when a pupil fell through a warehouse roof. What? Or was pushed. No charges were ever brought, but the finger was pointed firmly at Mandy. And this was in 2010. She would have been in the sixth form. So she'd be what now? 22, I'd say. Miss Fitzgerald? Yeah, a bit busy, Sonia. I've got a nurse here from the mental health unit at Warren House. They've traced calls to our hotline. They're looking for a patient who ran off this morning. Name's Mandy. Mandy, slow down. Did he see us? Did he follow us? No, no one saw us. He can't find me. He's not going to. He will. He always does. Right. Calm down. Take a breath. Relax. Oh, sorry. I just freaked out. It's OK. Um, do you want to come back to mine? You'll be safe there? Yeah, OK. OK? All right. Sorry. Just... Okay, let's go. Come on. Answer phone. Leo, can you come back to school straight away, please? You're not in any trouble, I promise you. Could be anywhere by now. He's a sensible boy. I'm sure he'll come to no harm. Which class was he in first thing? That's Sue. OK, I'll need to speak to her. Do you want me to tell Ali? No, I'll do it. Sonia, will you call the police? I've alerted Leo's other teachers, and they're going to let me know if they hear anything. What? I thought Vaughan would have told you by now. Told me what? That Leo's gone missing, and we think he's with a girl from Warren House. 
The police are on their way and there's nothing more we can do at the moment. That girl Leah was with this morning. I did point out to Vaughan that letting strangers wander around the school might not be the most sensible idea. Well, sensible's not always a priority for Vaughan. Well, she said it, not me. <clears throat> so, she was in your classroom, a new pupil in her first lesson on her first day. And at no point did you think to ask anything about who she was or where she'd come from? I asked her name. Mandy. Go to your class. Justin, what do you know about your brother and this girl? Nothing. Well, what sort of mood was Leo in this morning? Was he OK? I don't know. Justin, this is important. Well, maybe if you spent a bit less time on my back and a bit more time talking to him, you'd know. What do you want to do? Do you want something to eat? Who's this? That's Justin's. All right, taste the music for such a scumbag. Yeah, um... Where's to keep the rest, then? I don't think that we should go in this Leo, where's his room? How come he gets his own place? Yours like this. Not really. Wanna play? Yeah. Yes. That is so not fair. <laughs> Ow. Ah. What are you doing? Billies get what's coming to them. You. Why didn't you tell me Leo was missing? Well, he's not missing, as such. Then why are you breaking into his locker? Leo is not exactly streetwise and worried. Isn't that yours? Yes. Vaughan, I need your help. It's Simon. He's dead. They are gonna kill me. This place is a nightmare anyway. Because of Justin? Because everyone's permanently waiting to start a fight. Can't wait to move away, start my own life. Yeah, me too. What's that? Mull. I used to go there with my mum. And where's your mum now? Lives in Manchester. So where do you live? Mental health unit. Right. Been there six months. Why? It's called borderline personality disorder. It means I get anxious, angry at stuff, not good at being on my own. Calling you helped when I couldn't get through. I freaked out. This helps too. Reminds me of being a kid when I didn't have all these thoughts. I used to go swimming in the sea there. Water was like heart attack cold. It looks lovely. Why don't we go? What? Now? Yeah. 
We can't. Why not? Where would we stay? In that house with my mum's friends. I'm sure they'd remember me. Please, Leo. Mandy, it's Mars. Don't have any money for a train or a boat or anything. Sorry. I'm telling you now, I'm not going back to the unit. Don't answer it. Mandy, maybe I should. It could be something important. Leave it. Mandy, I'm going to pick up the phone. I said, don't answer it. Give me the phone. Mandy! Mandy! Leave. Mandy! Me. Get Leave. off me! Leave it! <gasps> Dad? Hey, it's me. Oh, have you seen Simon? Sorry, I haven't. How could it have been so stupid? He won't even talk to me. What am I going to do, Ali? I don't know. I, uh... I've got nobody else to talk to. So I'm really sorry, but we've kind of got our own crisis at the moment. Leo? Oh, yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. We need to get home. Now. Mandy? Coming to get me. I don't know. At least put those down. You don't need them. The friends threaten each other with scissors. I'm sorry. I always seem to mess things up. I don't mean to. But I do. I just. I just get mad and then everything goes wrong. Everybody thinks I'm dead, weird and moody. Like, I want to be like this. No, you're not weird. You just feel stuff more than other people do. Vaughn. <laughs> Leo, I know you're in there. Is she with you? Vaughn, don't be hasty. We don't know she's how she's going to react. Son in there. Leo! Open the door, I'm going to break it down. Mandy, he's not going to go away. Mm, you can't just do that. I want to know what's happening. I know, but you can't just barge in there. Why are you being so calm? Because one of us has got to be. I'm not going out there. Look, I know how it feels to be lonely. What you want to do is run away. But I've found you can't run away from yourself. All of your problems will just go with you. That's why, no matter how hard it gets, you just got to stick at it. And you always have people that care about you. And I really care about you. Do you? Yes. And I don't want you to get hurt. I want you to get better, Mandy.
someone will visit you and we can chat online and stuff. Okay. My little geek. Thank you. Leo. Look, Dad, I tried to talk to you about this before. You didn't listen to me. I found my laptop. Thanks for fixing it. I'm sorry you felt a bit neglected since we came here. It's because you're no trouble. You just get on with things quietly, not like Justin, always a drama. It's fine, I'm used to it. I love you both the same, you know. And I'm sorry for what you went through today. Why? It was great. First time in ages anyone's listened to me. What has happened to my room? Oh, yeah, sorry, bro. I had it coming. Justin. Just leave this one, huh? 